Hey guys, Jarek here, and I'm going to be doing a full playthrough of the game Enemy Front. Now, before I continue on this playthrough, I do need to say that there seems to be a lot of negativity surrounding this game. I'm not going to lie to you, this is kind of a generic shooter that just kind of does the gunplay right. It doesn't really revolutionize anything, it's not incredibly innovative. It's just a good, solid shooter. Is it a bad game? Not really, in my opinion. Is it an amazing game? Not really. So if you came here basically just to say this game is terrible, then... You know, I'm still going to be playing it, whether you, I don't know why you came here to begin with, but I'm still going to be playing the game. The second thing I need to say is it has a lot of weird problems with the uh, the PC release, and not like game-breaking issues, but things that are just so strange. Um, first off, there's no FOV slider. I don't understand why. So you need to change a config file to have a regular FOV, because I'm not playing with a console of a V of like vertical 55, I think it actually was vertical like 80 degrees, which is still not playable for me. So I changed the FOV to 101, which is perfect for a 69 aspect ratio. The next really, really weird issue I saw is that when I was playing this game full screen, the game would completely at random it just go to 30 frames. Like I'd walk into a certain area and suddenly I would be capped at 30 frames. It wouldn't go below 30 or really above it. It would just stay at 30. And then I went into another room and it would stay at 60. And it was like capping it at random, random numbers. Uh, my computer is more than capable enough to run this game. So I don't know why that was happening, or at least I didn't know why that was happening at the time. But I found out that if I played this game full screen, it does that. When I put it into a window, it doesn't do that. And the frame rate won't be capped at all which makes no sense, but this game also doesn't give you the option to play in borderless window mode, so I had to go download another program so I can put it in a borderless window which solved it. So, hey, here we are now, I'm going to be doing a full playthrough. I figured out all those issues beforehand, I played it a little bit, but let's go ahead and go single player and start an entirely new game. This is Warsaw calling. This is Warsaw calling all the free nations. My name is Robert Hawkins, and I am an American war correspondent broadcasting from inside the heart of the besieged Warsaw. What I am about to tell you is a story. A story of ordinary men and women all across Europe who have stood up to Nazi tyranny and oppression. For years, I have traveled with these remarkable people, partisans, freedom fighters, and home armies. I have lived with them, fought with them, and seen the sacrifices they've made in the name of freedom. I have documented their stories, and now they must be told. This is a story of resistance. Come on, move! I didn't think it would be this bad.
like how I couldn't vault over until I gave it the hint. This way. Voices from the underground, right? You went through my things? I'm just jotting down some thoughts, observations, really. Oh, words can be used as a sword that cuts both ways. Mind you remember that in your observations. This is my mother's homeland. I'm mindful of that every moment I'm here. <laughs> That's good. Set of Hokies, you're late. The Germans aren't on our timetable. Better late than not at all. A policy of your President Roosevelt, I believe. Okay, we are taking St. Cross Church. We will take the Nazis by surprise from two points of entry. Are you in? Consider it done. Can I take Hawkins with me? No, I have another job for him. We need at least two entry points into the church to catch the enemy off guard. I'll see what I can do. That tunnel will bring you close to the school, while this route is the quickest to the station. Get some new gear from Kowalski over there, and good luck. We'll meet later. Kozera, I need you to take a small team of men and ambush that Nazi convoy. Which you, do you must prefer? stop it from getting here. Count on it. You two, you're with me. Let's move. Yes, sir. Well, I already have a bar, so I don't really need another rifle. My thoughts exactly. You will not be disappointed. What the hell? <laughs> Why are you vibrating? Okay, I'm gonna see something really quick. I, I think this is just because... Um, I move that all the way over here, see what happens. There we go, that's much better. The HUD was taking up, like, the center part of the screen. Which I'm pretty sure was because I was changing my... Tunnel to prison, tunnel to storage. Let's see what's this way. I'm pretty sure it was because I was changing my my FOV. I made it large. Something that's very strange about this game is you might have noticed it. There is terrible vertical sync issues when you. Uh, when you go into cutscenes, but when I'm playing, it doesn't seem to have those issues. So you might have noticed. Oh shit, they found him. <laughs> Ow, someone actually hit me. Old Eda Paint. Yeah, it's so weird. I see vertical sync issues when I go into like animations like that, but not while I'm playing. Odd. This game does a lot of strange things like that. And it's strange because it uses the CryEngine. You, you, I mean, that was made for PC gaming. You, you think it would be fine. I don't know, it's a much minor problem. 
compared to running randomly at 30 frames per second, which drove me crazy. I cannot play at 30 frames per second. I'm sorry, people, to play on consoles. I don't know how you deal with it. Yeah, see, you can throw stones now, and it adds in the stealth element, which I have not showed you yet. It's very, very Far Cry 3. It's actually, I'm pretty sure it's... It, it really is just taken directly... F Oops, threw way too high. It really is taken directly from Far Cry 3. Even the HUD looks the same. Uh, the indicators look the same. Yellow when they're just kind of there. Red when they're, like, angry. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. You have a takedown thing, too. If you don't do the takedown, you just kind of punch them and they die instantly for some odd reason. It's not really giving me the option. I think you can only do it when they're, their back's facing you. You can also take them as hostage, which is pretty cool. There we go. You can also pick up their body, and I'm going to do something really funny. Shit, do I move really slow? Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. There we are. Oh, I could I drop it after a certain period of time. Uh, eventually, I'm going to have to pick up one of these bodies and throw it at another Nazi and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Hey, guys. Look what I got. So, you know, as you see, this really isn't that bad of a game. It just isn't that great of a game, and that's probably its biggest complaint. I really, if I had to sum this game up, I would say, if you like shooters, you're going to like this game. If you don't like shooters, or you're you're kind of indifferent, the shooter has to be really good uh, for you to really get into it, don't even bother trying to play it. Because then you're just going to complain to everyone else that this game isn't worth, and that it sucks, and that it's boring, and we're so tired of World War II shooters, and I don't care, I don't want to hear that anymore. You know, it's sad when World War II shooters are kind of a brush of fresh air, fresh, a breath of fresh air, after how many there used to be. The thing is with this game is that it's not, it's not so brown and bloom like all the other shooters were like back in, you know, when Call of Duty was like the main thing in the the mid two thousands, early Xbox Lifetime stuff like that. There's so many World War II, World War II shooters of just brown. And it was the same Dino D Dino D Day. Wow, I've gotten into a habit of just saying Dino D Day because I played that game so much. It was the same D Day missions and the same thing over and over. Whereas this game, as you can see, it's pretty colorful. And the fact that it uses the Cry Engine, I don't think it really looks fantastic. Um, I think that's just because it. I don't know the textures. I mean, look at these bushes. They could have done so much more with the Cry Engine. It's just I think that's the biggest problem. There's a lot of guys around here. Here, look that way. Wow, no one's even hearing it. I need some grenades. I like the hit markers. It'll show you a red hit marker when someone dies. It's not like Hardline where it shows you a red hit marker if you get a headshot, it's just when they're dead. Someone with the bolt action. There you are. Is he dead? I guess so. I like this bar. It's 
go ahead and try the MP40 a little bit though. Man, this 1911 is either really inaccurate or I can't hit shit. What the fuck? Alright. Alright, I was using my 1911 because... I wanted to... What? <laughs> you, go away. I wanted to pick this up. What? The slide is glitched. There we go. Alright, so the reason I'm picking up this Luger is not because the Luger is better than the 1911 or anything, but just because I, I want to try out a different gun. You know, you've seen the 1911, let's try the Luger. That was a bigger explosion than I was expecting. I'm getting the fuck out of here. First, I'm gonna do this. I don't know what this does, but, you know, why not? Man, that, the random vertical sync, like, screen tearing is just, like, you see when I go into this animation, it drives me crazy. Explosives. Excellent. Corporal, take this and set up shop exactly where we talked. Right away, sir. Ooh. A different submachine gun. That's... <laughs> he has the animation like he's carrying a bolt action. Alright, as much as I like this bar, I'm gonna try out the uh, Car 98. See if there's anything else I can take. Actually, I'm gonna go this way. I heard enemies and I know. Oh my god. Yeah, screen tearing right here. Horrendous. I don't understand why it does that. It's annoying the hell out of me, but I mean, like I said, I would much rather have that issue than the issue of 30 frames. Is that <laughs> Man, what an idiot. Come here. <laughs> I guess I can't do takedowns if I'm standing on stairs. Ooh, someone is in front of me. Look that way. Oh shit. Ow. I got two red hit markers, so maybe it does signify getting a headshot. Maybe just headshots usually kill them. Man, I need to figure out what the hell is causing these vertical sync issues. I have vertical sync turned on in my um, 
in my NVIDIA control panel, so I don't know why it does this. But I'm gonna quickly alt-tab. Okay, I hope that solved it. If it did not solve it, then I will deal with this after I stop playing before I start recording next time. Ah, oh, damn it. I was seeing if I could mark them like I can with Far Cry, but apparently I, I can. They saw me. I like this bolt action. Oh, that's explosive. How are you still alive? You know, from what I saw, people were really talking about how good this game looked because he used the cry engine and all that, but I mean, the effects look good. The, the actual engine itself looks good, you know, all these lights and all the, the particle effects and whatnot. The guns sound great, they feel great, they feel fairly strong. I mean, it's not like they feel Red Orchestra strong, so it's kind of a not really a fair comparison. But the animations are smooth, uh, the sound effects, reloading sound effects are good, gun sound effects are good and all that stuff. So, I mean, the, the engine itself feels great. Uh, but I, I think it's just the low-res textures. I mean, they're not terrible textures, don't get me wrong, but they're definitely not Cry Engine 3 worthy textures. You had your chance. Do what you will. You must see your way through. Well, there's a shortcut you can take. Now go, son. On your way. You know Kozera. Know him. He was raised at the Paris Orphanage. Now go with God, all of you. So if anyone out there knows why this game has some terrible vertical sync issues, I would love to know. See if I can find a solution. 
I do really like the loading screens in this game, though. Like, this has got to be some of my one of my favorite loading screens out of any game, to be honest. Are we ready? Yes. I want to thank you. You're proving to be a huge asset to our cause. Like I said, we're all in this together. Indeed. We have two teams stationed, one near the exit from the catacombs, second by the side church wall. You can join Ida and play first fiddle. Cosetta is already waiting for you. I'll get to it, sir. Hawkins, this church is very important, not only for its strategic value, but as morale booster, to show the men we can fight and win. I write for a living. I know how this works. We'll do our best. Godspeed. I'm gonna try something. I intentionally do not have this turned on in the game because if I remember correctly, and this might mess up the recording, so one sec. If I remember correctly, this also messes with the frame rate and I don't think it solves the vertical sync issues either, but we'll see. I hear you're quite the partisan. And I hear you're quite the ungodly scoundrel. <laughs> I see you met our parson. A good good. The men are in position. This way leads to the church where we will detonate the explosives, and this to the catacombs. We found a grate leading inside. Pick one. <laughs> Sneaking. Fuck Let's that go. shit. I'm gonna go blow stuff up. Are we ready? Yes, we're ready. Do the honors. Oh, that's cool. I kind of noticed it before and I didn't really change it. I can put it five seconds. That's more than enough time to run away. Can't be friendly. No way he would have already been in here. Ow. Got him. This bar is amazing. It's like as strong as a bolt action. Which, I mean, would make sense. Oh, that's a grenade. Oh my god. Pretty bad from the hip, though. Even turning vertical sync on doesn't solve the screen tearing, which is strange. Like crap, what the hell, they're having like a Nazi barbecue over there in the back corner. <laughs> 